Hi, I'm Joe from Mishimoto. And I'm Sean. Today, we bought the Harbor Freight motorcycle lift. We got it home, we put it together, we tested it out so you don't have to. We're gonna find out if this lift is worth it or not. The first part of this operation was getting this beast back to our shop. It comes in a beefy crate, so you're gonna need substantial means of conveyance and a buddy. All right, so not a lot of tools we needed for this. Really, just to get the thing apart, we needed a rubber mallet, we needed a little screwdriver to break it loose, and some dikes for the straps. Um, everything to put it together, man. All we needed was 17 millimeter socket, uh, three eighths ratchet for it. Uh, we needed adjustable or a 17 millimeter wrench, um, quarter inch ratchet with a 10 millimeter socket. Uh, some needle nose for the cotter pins and a 10 millimeter wrench, man. It's pretty simple. All right, let's see what this thing looks like. So it's a little more simple than we thought. It's a little lighter than I anticipated, but we'll see. I think the casters can go like here, over there. Maybe we can just get it up off the ground a little bit, you know? Put the casters on there. Yep. Good. It's the same on both sides. Yep. Washer. Cut a pin. My weird dog can see. One down. Install the casters, 14 to the frame using the bolts, lock washers. Okay, so then we're gonna do the front, I think, now. Yeah, we're still underneath the block things. Okay. So these are just four 10 millimeter head and bolts. Sure you know, we'll do flat washer on one side, the other side lock washer and flat washer. I'm in here with a flat washer on this. I oh, wish I had smaller fingers. We go flat washer. We're gonna go lock washer. And we're gonna go nut. Just go nuts, you know? Yeah, just go nuts. I mean, that's not a lot of threads. Hopefully it sticks down further. Or I'm gonna take those lock washers off. That's kind of... Weird. When it tightens, it might be better. <laughs> Is he just gonna Thanks expect, for helping. expert opinion? What do you think? <laughs> Boop. <laughs> But yeah, it does. It looks like it does just barely enough threads. You know? <laughs> no more. You didn't pay for that extra threadage. No. People can take a look too, make sure. What do you think, buddy? Are we doing a good job? Are we doing good? <laughs> <laughs> you know what would have been really smart? What's up? <sighs> if somebody was, was smart and jacked up this lift beforehand, so we gave ourselves more room, that would have been really smart. <gasps> Here's some finger dexterity masterclass. Nope, I need more room. There we go, that's going in for sure. <laughs> there we go, see this would've saved us, this would've been so much easier, like, all the times. Okay, so yeah, notes. Maybe try jacking it up first, it'll help you out a little bit. Yeah, pro tip, don't be like us. <laughs> Give yourself some extra room. We, <laughs> we suffered so you could thrive. Now. Finger dexterity masterclass right here. That's how it's done. Okay, looks like we're not gonna use flat washers here. I would like to use flat washers on both sides though. Why can't you use flat washers on both sides? Doesn't give us enough. That's what? That lock washer's not gonna sit right now. Is it oh wait, what's well the top the bottom might be fine actually. Yeah, the bottom will be fine.
I think if we slide too far this way, see that's where the center of the edge of the tire is going to be. So it depends on how big the tire is, I guess. Wait, are they both supposed to? Only one side is supposed to slide, right? Or yeah, only this side slides, but this side you have to do it with the actual where you where you mount it here. Right. So I'm going to do it. Why would it in. ever not be centered? Well, because what if you have like a fat bob tire that's this big, yeah. right? And then oh. a dirt bike tire, you know? And then you have like your your uh, dual sport tire, right? There's all sorts of tire sizes, so I'm gonna go ahead and set, set it here for now. But I bet you that well, that's what makes this nicer. That mm -hmm. would probably this is a little bit more better solution. Yeah. So we got these U bolts. It's letting us pick the ratchet spot, which is kind of nice, I guess. Yeah. No, that looks that, that looks right. Yeah. Let's just do that. All right, give it the lift the room. Just go talk about these slide mounts. Those are just temporary. You pull them off when you're Yeah, you can just remove them quickly. Yeah. So that's the lift on the back one. Is the release. Yeah. Slide the pins in here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think the goal to lift the thresher off the front wheels. Yeah. It's been around, but man, that just seems really slippery. Well, yeah. Well, it's on this flooring too. Yeah. So that makes me kind of nervous. We try to push a bike a bit, just gonna slide it forward. Okay. It looks like it doesn't really matter, right? Yeah, I don't think so. It's not gonna slide around. Well, let's see. Okay, that's pretty nice. It's all right. That's pretty nice. Get the right. get the wide get the uh, Harley keys. Yeah. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Okay. Huh. Okay. All right. So this flooring. I wonder if we need some rubber pads under the. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, that that'll work. I think. All right. Moment of truth. Yep. Finish up. Here you go. Watch out. Ready? Nothing can go wrong here. Yeah! Okay, hold on. Ooh, yeah, okay. We got the... So, ooh, that is gonna kind of be a pain in the butt. So... That's gonna hit the railing. Ah, okay, let's put that that's back That's kind in. of annoying. Yeah, and then, so also, well, that's the tire, it looks like. There's still not, it needs to well, go more. If, if you crank it in now, it might sturdy it up a little bit. Okay, let's find out. Ooh, a little I'm careful. No, but uh, this. Is it this... hitting the rim? No, just don't wiggle it like that. Okay. okay. Actually, there should be be a rubber pad on that. Uh... Yeah, let's talk. That, that should be one of the mods we do. Okay. okay, how's that? Is it confidence inspiring? No. no. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely not. Not confidence inspiring. <laughs> I could still tweak on this. I'm just making me kind of nervous. I don't think it's going to, I think we need the straps. Yeah, okay. So now... It's holding it kind of, I'm not trusting uh, it. Yeah, it's not, you don't want to trust that on its it. own. Which of those eyelets allow for the... Uh, the straps to go through. Yeah. Do we even need to use those U-bolts then? Yeah, I don't think so. That's actually, it's actually that's pretty, pretty damn sturdy. Yeah. I mean, you ain't towing it, so that's... Okay with that, if you're just working on it. See it, I'm Let's wiggling see. on it pretty hard and... Uh, the front chalk is doing its job. You know what's interesting? I noticed, oh, that is interesting. It kind of cocked those, it cocked these a little bit because we didn't, it, it wasn't completely flush against this this side. Right. And then definitely some rubber on this because you see metal on metal on that rim, that's real, real bad. Yep, I agree. So that's gonna be the first mod we'll we do. Let's lift it up and see how it does in here. Bring you all the way up. <laughs> all right. Maybe we should have picked a cheaper bike. <laughs> we should definitely pick a cheaper bike. Let's see that now. There you go, it's max height. Man, I don't know. For the price, it's kind of hard to beat, you know? Yeah. I think there's probably some things we could do some upgrades. You know, rubber here, rubber there. Uh, overall, so how much does this, uh, does this bike weigh? That's a good Ish. I want to say it's at least. It's like 650-ish, close to seven, I would say. Yeah, and then so the big test is like, will it, will it, uh, will it hold a bagger? It says it, it says it's good for up to a thousand pounds, right? Yeah, and at 650, I mean. And so far, it's uh, pretty are, impressive. Maybe one, two hundred pounds 
lighter than a full Harley bagger, you know, maybe for a fully dressed one. And it's, it, it feels like they're, I mean, I can sit on this thing right now and feel comfortable, you know? Yep. All right, well, there you have it. All right, as you see, it's holding our bike up here, our Dyna. Feels pretty sturdy. Sean, what are your thoughts on it? Yeah, all in all, it feels pretty sturdy. You know, this is a 650-pound bike. Um, there's a few mods I think we do, right? We talked about that. Like, one thing is slid. I'm sure you saw that. We need some sort of rubber to kind of keep it in place. And part of it is this concrete floor. But I think Very any shop floor is going to be slippery, right, Joe? Yeah. And what was the other thing we had? Well, just the rubber for that bed. Oh, and, right. and if we want to drill a, a mod front just for more ratchet stress. Yeah. But overall, I mean, if you're not, you're not telling us this isn't going on a trailer, so. Yeah, man, for 600 bucks, we priced out a lot of these things. We locked a lot of different options. I think you can't beat it, you know? Yeah, especially if you get those 25% off coupons. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> awesome. All right, also, uh, we buy, sell, consign, give us a call.